guys, it's Comic Collie with Studios here. Today we are at King's Dominion here in Doswell, Virginia. Kicking off, well, not really kicking off, but continuing our trip to Busch Gardens for the Ace event. So we're here for the day. Park X is really good hours today, 9 to 8. Earliest I've ever seen this park open. And yeah, we'll see you guys inside. So now we're inside the park and the plan is to make one of our earlier rides of the day, Twisted Timbers. That way... It can be said that we rode Wildcat's Revenge at Hershey Park and Twisted Timbers here at King's Dominion within 24 hours of each other. The reason that's so significant, they're both fairly similar rides by the same manufacturer. One, of course, being a bit different than the other, but still really cool. No rope drop at the park today, so we're heading right in. Didn't look too crowded coming in either, so should be a great day. Somehow this is the first time I've ever seen the mushrooms sing. Since it's open, we're gonna hit Backlash Sun Coaster as our first coaster, first ride of the day. Just got off back lot, Tom. How was it? That was a really aggressive way to start the morning. I definitely <laughs> need coffee or something because I grayed out on that a little bit. So yeah, good way to start. Dad? Same here, grayed out a little bit. But uh, it's a really good ride. I can't believe there's like nobody here just yet. Yeah, we rode the two back rows on that and it was good. If you guys have ridden back lot, any of them, you know that they're pretty intense for family coasters. Now we're going to head past Anaconda and over to I-305 because it seems like it might be open. I-305 isn't open quite yet, so we're going to hit Flight of Fear first. So guys, that Flight of Fear was closed, but I-305 just opened, so here we go, I-305. All the first riders of the day on I-305 run to their seats. Looks like they got two trains on too, which is always great. Just did two rides on I-305. Dad, how was that? Oh, this ride's intense as hell. Freaking nuts, it's even fast in the morning. All right, I'm done. So intense, blacked out. I was practically blinded going after the first turn and now I definitely need that call. Yeah, it's a very intense ride, especially, it's already getting hot, it's gonna be a very hot day out, but even in the morning, it just destroys you in terms of intensity. That first turn got me both times. I almost blacked out, felt it got very close, but can only take so much of this ride. We're probably going to head over towards the front, go hit Twisted Timbers, and try out the newly retracked Grizzly, which I'm very excited for. Time for Twisted Timbers. Well, this is another RMC coaster, which means you guys got to go in the locker. We'll see you after the ride. got off a ride on Twisted Timbers. Tom and I rode in the back. Dad and the others rode in the front. How was it? You know I love this ride. It's great. Can't say anything else. This was my first RMC. Like started all off and it's running great today too. Super aggressive. I love how all these rides here seem to start with really high pace. I love that first drop where it turns and goes and then that fake turn to the left and then to the right. It's a great ride. Definitely great. Taking a look at how it compares to Wildcat, I do think Wildcat's Revenge is the better coaster. However, they're both incredible rides, and I'll tell you what, riding two different RMCs back to back like this destroys your shins, so be prepared. Now we are gonna do something I'm actually very excited for. 
For those of you unaware, Grizzly received a ton of work over the offseason. It got majorly retracked. If you guys remember last year, I thought Grizzly was a really good layout, but it was just too rough to enjoy. But now that roughness, for the most part, should be gone. So let's go check it out. There goes Grizzly. I'm going to head in, try to get the back row. That's what I'm being told is the best seat to ride on. Almost completely empty station. I'm excited for this. I actually like this one. It's all about the tunnel. It's been rough at times, but like it's been getting. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. We just got off of Grizzly in the back few rows, retracked. Dad, how was that? Wow, what an improvement. They did a great job on that. Now they just gotta do the rest of it. Yeah, and even then, like the rest of it isn't horribly rough. They didn't do the whole like ending stretch of the ride, but you actually get to feel the airtime and not the pain. And it's just a genuinely awesome ride. Tom, I know you were, oh, there you are. Yeah, I'm You were <laughs> ecstatic about how good it was. What'd yes, you think? Yes, this ride has completely been changed. This was a game changer here. Uh, my first ride back on this in 2019 was awful. I never wanted to re-ride it again, and what a turnaround. Excellent job. Thank you, Kings Dominion. This is a completely new experience. And what's funny now is I think back to less than a year ago, we were walking through here wishing they would retrack it in some way, and... All right, so we just rode Grizzly. Unfortunately, there's not really any place to take video of the actual rise, and it's in the woods. We rode it twice, and I know I said I really didn't want to ride it in the last clip, but honestly, it's not that bad. It's super rough, like crazy rough. There it goes over there, but it's got, it's got potential. Look at that. Less than a year later, they did it, and they totally changed the ride, and it's great. Next ride of the day is going to be Shenandoah Lumber Co., which is their log flume. Really like the name. I believe it's themed after a lake they have in the area, so let's go give it a ride. Just got off of Shenandoah. It didn't get terribly wet, but it was a fun log ride. Oh, How was I love, it? I love log rides. This one's really good. Got yeah, a little bit of wet, but it's not bad. Yeah, it was nice and refreshing. The splash wasn't too obnoxious, and I don't remember the last time I went on this, so I was glad to get back on it. Definitely. Now looped around the park, so we're gonna go over to Dominator. Now it's Boo Blasters time. We just got off of Blue Bat. Bleh. Not blue bastards. Blue blasters. blasters. And I got 720. I did pretty good. It's just very hard because not everything works. I mean, it's an old ride. It's kind of to be expected. Tom beat me ever so slightly. By 30 points, and it was 30 great points. But um, yeah, the ride itself, I still think Kings Island has the edge, but this was a nice break from all the heat. This is pretty cool. Like I said, some score. of the stuff. The score. Mm -hmm. What'd you get? Uh, it was like 330. Yeah. Yeah, kind of weak. And, and since I beat you on Justice League quite a few times, yeah, you know, yeah, this is kind of disappointing <laughs> that I got the score I got. You got but, less than half. Yeah, well, I sat in the back. I had two adults sitting in front uh -huh. of me. Uh-huh. So, and they were getting good scores. That sounds like excuses to me. Up. Ken, how did you do? I got 520. It's a frustrating ride. You beat him. That's all that matters. It's yeah. frustrating. <laughs> Even it's not going off. Just took a break for lunch. Now we're going to head back over into Jungle Expedition. Hopefully Reptilian's open and doesn't have a super long line. Timbili already has a crazy weight because, well, of course it does. Next ride is Flight of Fear. Just a flight of fear. It's a very disorienting ride. Wasn't terribly rough. It was fun, but as we know from other Premier Coasters, the trains are less than optimal. Dad, how was that? It was, like you said, disorienting. It's uh, it a little rough for me, but I know just going in. Expecting it. The growling in there, in the spaghetti bowl. Good ride. 
I thought it was fun. I noticed the wait time went up as we were in there, so he picked a great time to ride. And yes, totally disorienting, but a little uncomfortable in the seats. Now we're back for some more I-305s. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, start your engine! Another ride on I-305 in the books. Oh yeah. It sped up. So good. Much faster now. And I think we're gonna head over to Twisted Timbers now. So, of course, as we usually do, we found Ace. Ace, you ride anything yet? Not yet. Hey, Where were you earlier? Six Flags America. How much did rides. you get on there? I got on some good rides. Really good rides on Superman, Joker's Jinx, and the wild one. And I just skipped the raw because it was the line was too long because of the kids. The kids have, uh, it's pretty much, these kids are ubiquitous throughout the country. It's a school trip. So. Yeah, there's a lot of them here today too. That's, that's okay, I can take care of that. Wow, you just rode Twisted Timbers. What'd you think, Colin? It was wonderful, very fast. Ace, how was it? Yeah. Spectacular. But a little painful, but it's worth the pain. Ten? Insane, that thing's running really fast right now. Oh yeah. Ace, what are we hitting next? Grizzly. Have you ridden it with the retract no. yet? You excited? Yeah. Yes. All right. Absolutely. Just got off another ride on Grizzly. This time I rode very back just to see how it would be on a back wheel seat. And it was still great. I mean, of course, the, where it's not retracted, it still does have a bit of a bite, but it was a really fun ride, great airtime moments. Definitely one of the best coasters in the park. Ace, improved. how was it? It pulled a little painful, not as bad as before. So it's getting better. How was uh, those airtime moments? The, the first half is the best. That's my favorite part of it. Well, of course, they just got to retract that second yeah. half and then it'll be perfect. Can't wait to have a complete retract Grizzly. Of course. So we all just got off of Dominator. I honestly think that might be my new favorite floorless coaster. Just based off that one ride, I grayed out through the entire first half. It was really, really good. Tom, what do you think? It was fun. There were really unexpected moments of airtime in there, and it felt more noticeable than my last few rides and last visits. Ace? It's great like always, and it's one of those unique floorless B&M coasters because you have that drop in the middle of it after the break -in. I mean, after the mid-course, it's pretty cool. It was good, and the mid-course, yeah. Barely trimmed, so you got a real nice pop going into the finale. Yeah, that's, that's it dominated. Piece. It definitely dominated. As you guys saw, we just got off of Reptilian. Tom, how was Reptilian? That was really fun. I'm so glad to ride a classic bobsled coaster, and I'm really glad we got around to it today. Ace Dad, how was it? Oh, it was good. It was good. A lot of fun. You know what's damn near my favorite bobsled ride out of all of them in the country? Well, there's not many of them. There's only yeah, like two. But it's my favorite. Two. Over the one in the Great Escape, and even the wooden one. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that one. Yeah. And one over Texas. And, uh, and La Vibora. The there's a few. Yeah, yeah, this is, nice this is one of the few mock ones left, though. Oh 
just got off of Toombili and that was one of the worst rides I've had on a free spin. I didn't get any flips. Uh, I don't know if it was randomness or if they toned down the flipping. Last year we had tons of flips, but it was it was interesting. Ace, what'd you think? That was horrible. <laughs> that was horrible. Wow, I would say it was that's, horrible. That's why I didn't go on. <laughs> I don't think it was horrible. We got a couple half flips and those are always fun. We were kind of hanging upside down for a bit, but never a full flip. I thought it was fun. Now it's time for I threw five again. I threw a five, was amazing. The rest of them just got off of I-305. Tom, how was it? I finally got a front row ride this year. It was really good. We found Josh. Josh, how was it? Awesome ride. We also found Ethan. Ethan, how was I-305? That was awesome. Awesome. Really fast. Good. Good snaps. Great. Ace. Great. Like always, like being in a race car. Yes, no so. rattles. No rattles at all. That is going to do it for our time here at King's Dominion. Ending off a little early because, quite frankly, we're really tired. Didn't get much sleep between, you know, Wildcats Revenge's media day yesterday and, of course, having to get up early to make it here for around opening today. We have Bush Gardens, Williamsburg tomorrow, but today was awesome. Lots of great rides on great coasters. Awesome to try out the new Grizzly, get on I-305 and Twisted Timbers. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, guys.